you doing? So we're just turned up in Roxham. Just trying to find somewhere to park. And as you can see, we can already see the flooding and we ain't even parked up yet. This is just some of it. It's much, much crazier when I get out of the car. It's pretty deep in this puddle here. As you can clearly see, this is a normal car park, and yeah, the river's just gone straight across the road and joined the river at the other side of the road. And everyone's having to come through, and it's absolutely crazy, as you can see. Some people are getting really worried about going through the water. Obviously if that's too deep, you don't want it sucking up into your car. You'd then you'd be looking at engine replacement. <laughs> chest waders on and let's go and have a look around Rising up, coming over the edges, going into the pub. That's the king's head. It's just a normal pass. <laughs> car parks in here, they're pretty deep. Let's see how deep they go, shall we? It's all running in between the shops. Basically, joins the boat yards. It's getting pretty deep here. And you can see. Nearly up to my knees. So I say much has gone over. As you can see, that's meant to be a car park. Ooh. 
past corner. Ooh. <laughs> Way past my knees in this corner. This is the boat yard. Bearing in mind at the moment we're got at least another four hours before high tide. Definitely won't be parking in here. People have been using their kayaks to get to their front doors. Just right over the edge of the moment up there. It's a dead end up there, so I'll carry on this way. Very deep in here. Not quite getting the homes because they're built up a bit higher here, which is good. This business seems to have got away, it's been built up a bit higher. This is basically a road I'm walking down. You can hardly walk with the depth of it. You can see the tires coming in now, pushing onto the path. down here on plenty of my videos before when we've been looking around or fishing. It's pretty deep. <laughs> Can't even tell where the board starts and where the road starts, it just goes straight across. This property's probably got away with it because it's built up slightly. Of the board, you can now see as they start to push over in the next four hours. It's going to join up to all this lot and make it even more. This property here has done so well, it's taken on the water quite badly. Quite a lot for where I'm standing. <laughs> we're near, we're near like the hotels and stuff where people stay. Drift up onto the concrete, it's above its walls. Van down there is obviously been pushed right into the corner trying to get out of the floods. No way out of dry land. This is where it will start coming over in the next hour or so. 
Hopefully that car's well, it's well in there up to its engine. Doesn't look like it's been far lately anyway, but I think the point is it. Oh, steep down here. I'm way over my knees now. I've got a Rolls Royce parked up there. Just covering the tires, which isn't too bad. These holiday lodges and stuff are high enough up to be okay. So obviously this person's garage is completely flooded out. Where I'm walking down now is not your road, but... Oh, so deep. It's crazy. And that's the broad. Just basically joining people's gardens. It's a lot of extra water. Don't you think this house has been so lucky to keep away from the water? Pretty crazy. I'm not going to enter in there because that's some of the property. Normally you just see this all parked up with lots of cars and vans and people at work. But... Cool, that's so deep in the middle here. It's not far off my waist. There's a big dip in the middle of them. This garage is completely and utterly flooded out. Pulled away up the doors. This board is already now starting to come over. The one down here has all tried to get off the sides and keep the cars out of deeper water. Bigger jeeps and stuff can get through by lots of things. We wouldn't want to go through the middle out there. It's angry and water coming down to the cess things by lots of things. There's no point in pumping it out back into the river though, because it's not going nowhere then. We're already breaking the edges here. Nothing you can do to stop it really. So many places I can come over. Another spot there where it'll come over quite soon. So I was just talking to a chap that farms Brinkcraft and he was saying that was even deeper yesterday but obviously at the higher tides I can't get in so I've had to come to a mid tide and we're seeing what we're seeing but it's pretty deep now so imagine what it's like at high tide. So let's keep looking, there's plenty more to see. It's only been sort of half an hour since I've been in that room that's now breaking the bank up here. Still got another three and a half to four hours to come up so going to be fairly deep tonight but that'll be too late to film it because that'll be dark by then this is what it's doing to the tarmac and stuff the water's getting underneath it and lifting the mud underneath and putting big bulges in the car parking spaces and stuff like that and as you can see it's clearly coming straight over the side of the morons here it's basically lifted the tarmac all the way along and it's sunk down in front of us. I can't quite get over how deep it is in these corners. It's pretty deep. <laughs> Just makes you walk along the water up to my knees. 
we go through and pass through the shops and across the road. And we'll see now, it's looking very deep over there as well, so we'll go there next. Just in this area. Looks like the Angan water van made it back out. <laughs> Don't think you've got a high tide. Whoa! This is really deep. <laughs> Yeah, um, well you can see but it's above my knees and just off my waist <laughs> in a car park <laughs> Ooh, can hardly walk just coming straight over there on the edges and straight through See the tides pushing in over the sides there. And that's going to keep coming in for the next four hours, which is going to make this pretty deep. So that car's probably trapped where it's parked there. And this is pretty deep, it's all just flooding straight in here. I think there's all fish scattering around. <laughs> Places where you sit on the benches and people feed the birds and stuff like that. On the high tide, this actual whole area is absolutely covered, but so you can't get down here and it sort of blocks the road and everything. the edge of the board here, just flooding in. The birds seem to be liking it. Then the other side of the bridge here has caused a bit of hassle on the road. Cars and stuff are struggling to come through now, it's getting deep. Not very often you're going to see it like that. towards the car park straight down into the depths. <laughs> Pretty deep. Or oh, just slide straight over the side there. Up the top of it is already coming through. It's causing chaos on the road there. Definitely causing a bit of fun there. Traffic's non stop both ways. So 
So we're across the road. They're going to have a look at the old pub it used to be there. It's shut down now. Look at the depth of water here. Bubble shut down now. Caught the bridge. This is pretty deep. Oh, it's hard to walk through. There's no gap all the way through. Wheelie bins are just floating down the road. Oh, this is deep. <laughs> I'm past my knees now. Like the holiday homes are high enough up not to worry, but the rest whew, just below my waist where we're walking through. Oh, <laughs> struggling to walk. A strange sight to see this much water in places where it shouldn't be. I had lots and lots of requests of people asking me to go out and film it all. I was going to anyway, I planned to, but everyone was getting a bit excited and wanted me to show what was going on before I'd even done it. <laughs> Fences are coming down. Sheds and stuff are all flooded out. Normally I'm here, I don't know if you know this area. It's Bridgeport Marina. There's normally campers on here parked up. Oh, it's deep. <laughs> it's very deep. You can see us halfway up these doors. Look where the locks are and the bedlocks are. Just caught the way up them doors. You see I'm well over my knees. That's where we just walked down. Just looks like a river. <laughs> Don't advise anyone doing this, but I can actually see into the water quite nicely. Yeah, the road's on. You can see exactly what I'm walking on. It's all concrete. Um, plenty of people out fishing today. Oh no, it was a. Poor camper over the back here. Yeah. Looks like he's got water running to his engine bay. It's not so good. Fences have come down on the side here. And these are, believe it or not, are electric hookups for camper vans. Get your drink and water taps and then your electrics. <laughs> Normally you'd see a camper parked on the concrete there, and another one here, two or three along the side there. That side is not looking too bad compared to this side. Plenty of people out piking. I must be able to see what, 15 people probably. And there's some more people up this end on, on their boats as well. Some tempt 
to walk up over the big steep bridge, really steep bridge, even in the car, this is awkward to go over, it's very steep. I've got um, spike grips on the bottom of my boots, so that also helps me for walking. Yeah, we're totally flooded on this side as well, as you can see down the edges, the broad is just completely over the sides. fishing spots on that side and where people sit in the benches and stuff completely flooded over that. They're trying to put all new warrants in down here for looks things. But obviously the water doesn't help play and help you get stuff done. This is pretty deep. It's gone completely into the buildings. Standing over there, staring at us. These buildings are all flooded as well. It literally just <laughs> just joins the whole lot. So again, I'm past my knees. This building is completely flooded out, really badly. There's actually cars stuck by the side there, looks things. This is where we are on my legs. Just up over my knees. It's pretty deep. <laughs> Looks like that's an Astro State in the corner there. The water's well it's above the sills. Whoa, it's getting very deep down here. You've got to be careful. I've obviously got chest waders on, but still got to be careful how I'm walking and stuff. That's completely flooded through the whole thing. Not going to walk all the way around there. It's the same thing all the way around. So it's, it's very good. It's lifting up these wooden doors because of the amount of water is there. over there with the perch rods, pike rods, see what they can get. Gas bottles and stuff floating around. A bit higher up on the side. Someone's lost a pipe float. Fox Predator range. Always good to get some free fishing gear. Chap over there in his boat. Two chaps outside of the bridge area in their boats. Oh, look at things. Whee! <laughs> this moron's completely moving as I walk on it. It's cool. Not collapsing, but it's wobbly. This is where you get the old swan boats out. Looks like that's all flooded out as well. The benches are flooded right out to where you sit. You can see what sort of depth that is. Welcome 
the bridge is all further through. Let's talk about as far as we can walk, really. Waiting through the road again. <laughs> Still can't believe how deep it is down here. Enough, make your legs ache walking through the steep water. <laughs> End up with cramps and all sorts. I'm sure I don't film everything I'm doing. I've been walking around in it for hours and days now. If you like this video and this sort of stuff, then there's other ones on the channel with me in different places. All the same sort of stuff happening.
Yeah, they're trying to smash me on purpose. Even the postman are having to walk through their trolleys. <laughs> 